Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time episode 35, which sees us starting out in County Crossing, and off to parts unknown. Our plan was to check out the satellite array over here, which is part of the Lost Patrol quest slash mission and then head over to Nordhagen Beach. I should apologize in the last video, episode 34, I missed a vault, a safe I guess, in the, well underneath Walden Pond. I will try my best not to miss any more of those, but I was having a bit of an off day I suppose. So, uh, I should also mention that the pole is closer than ever for whether we stay in survival mode or revert back to the mode we were playing in originally. And that being the case, it's literally one vote away between yes and no. So I will say this is the last call for difficulty polling. If you would like me to stay in survival, you should let your vote be heard by clicking on the I in the upper right hand corner and voting yes if you would like me to revert back to the more calm setting you should also click in the upper right hand corner and make your vote be heard because uh, you can make a difference there really aren't that many people voting so if you have a, a way you feel about it and you want you know it to go in that direction you should vote okay all that being said let's head off to the satellite array and see how it goes There are certainly a great number of places from which snipers would be useful. I even see someone moving way out there. We found a distress radio signal. Let's check that out. Okay. Signal strength 14.19%. It's times like this I really wish I had a sniper rifle, and I'm sure I've thrown several to the ground. I don't believe I have anything with a scope, which is unfortunate. Okay. Okay, and wild mongrel that are in our hands anyway. is down, but somehow I don't think the wild mongrel is what's holding, oh, see there's someone up there too, someone up there, now I can be relatively brave, but this is, this is a lot of folk one two three four that I can see with easy firing angles on me and uh, I will say that being in survival mode is making a big difference here because I am not super tempted to rush into this well I'll see how close I can get What's that? But we may end up hightailing it out of here. Glowing mutant hound with a skull and a star, and a, oh boy. Guess this is it for you. So it's legendary. It has a skull. And there is stuff all over the place here. And we're dead. That fast. Okay, well, 
I'm gonna say that uh, we're gonna ignore the satellite array because there's literally nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, distress signal is off, so Nordhagen Beach, here we come. Well, okay, I guess I can try one more time. I'm sure someone is thinking that, or perhaps imploring me to give it a go. I doubt that the outcome will be any better as death just restores the last save, so we're literally walking into the same thing. Which means we should have a dog here. Maybe, maybe not, not sure. You see that? Here's trouble. Oh, good move, Piper. Better than expected. Sorry about shooting you in the back there. Okay, so hordes of super mutants. Let's see what happens if I try We're and draw them out from a longer distance. This uh, berm might give me some advantage. Guess we scared them off. Oh, yeah. Well, if I survive. It would be a miracle. Okay, well, that is it for that. Nordhagen Beach, here we come. Legendary skull and a missile launcher. There's probably someone running around with a fat man too. That's fascinating. There's power coming from somewhere. Sparks flying off that broken cable. Okay, let's get a... Yep, okay. We're generally going the right way for Nordhagen. I hear a voice, I think. can fetish. Didn't you know? Okay, glass bowl, some coffee cups, be ceramic. More aluminum cans, that's really handy. Ooh, safe with 13 shotgun shells, 14 38 rounds, pipe auto pistol, gold plated flip lighter, and 12 pre-war money. Poster. Another aluminum can. Ooh, gas canisters. Those are always welcome. 
some Nuka Cola, another aluminum can. Okay. And a trash can with 15 5mm rounds and a silver locket, the coffee cup it can keep an empty trash bin. So let's do a circle around this. Jawless Brahmin skull. Okay. Coffee pot. Trash can. There's this kind of warehouse structure over here. Let's see what, uh, or garage. Let's see if there's anything going on in here. Okay, and we are in the door. There's a story here. We'll find it. Okay. Toolbox with a gold watch and some duct tape. Pack of cigarettes, box of bobby pins, economy wonder glue, more oil, huzzah, more aluminum cans, huzzah also. Tool chest with duct tape, silver fork, and more duct tape. Armor workbench and a weapon workbench. You know what we should take a look at is whether or not we could turn this into some sort of sniper rifle. And inside there's Let's junk. See. Where was that? Where did it go? Close sighted light hunting. So the first thing we would need to do, we need plastic and screws. Okay. So, let's look around for some plastic and screws, because if we're going to have a sniper rifle, it's going to be silent. Otherwise, there's pretty much no reason to have one. Economy Wonder Glue, 50 caliber times 15, 3 bobby pins, Wonder Glue, fuse. Don't think there was any screws or plastic in that. Is, does a screwdriver have plastic? Screwdriver, steel, and wood. Okay. So no screwdriver at the moment. But in that diner, I do believe there may have been some plastic in there. And... So we'll need to make a suppressor, a scope, probably a stock. We should. Glass bowl, ashtray, coffee cup, cram, tin can, nothing there. Dinner plate. Whoops. Let's see what the dinner plate is in a flip lighter. What's the dinner plate made out of? Uh, junk. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Plate is steel. Steel dinner plate? Huh? Okay, so I guess at this point we should probably gonna need some glass for a scope. Um, hmm. How about a hot plate? What do we get out of a hot plate? A screw? A toaster? Two springs and two steel. So any hot plates we find, we'll probably want to grab those. Clink, clink. Okay. 1150 caliber rounds, always welcome. Well, we can remember that the uh, workshops are there. If we find anything in the immediate vicinity on our way to Nordhagen. Check this trash can here. There is East Boston 438 rounds. Preparatory school. Uh, 
Uh, I was going to say, I'll get the map point, but actually I should probably leave it so that I remember to explore it later. This way. No, actually, we're going this way. But thank you for your advice, Mr. Sign. Boarding up buildings must have been a really big business after the bombs fell. Like, there was, you know, a booming industry for a moment. Saucer and teacup. Mentats, we'll take those. Okay. Let's see what's up the ramp. Oh, well, there's more up. Outstanding. Well, at least if there's anything fun. And there is a lot more up, but only a teddy bear for our troubles. Okay. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. There's a, there's a shack down there. That's interesting. Nordhagen is that way. The boat and the shack kind of caught my eye, so let's try and take the least amount of radiation and explore them. Danger. If we're gonna dance, let's do it. Hunter. Wow, the world is really after me today. Okay, let's see what we have in more interesting weaponry. Well, Mr. Submachine Gun, this is your chance to shine. And you're not shining. And we're dead. I wonder when the last time the game saved was. No, oh, back here in the diner. I wonder what in particular time back here in the diner. Let's see if we have the hot plate and toaster. No, we have gone back quite a ways. And I really need to pay more attention to saving. Toaster, hot plate. Chalmers Brahmin skull. Coffee pot. I believe there were some bullets back here. Nope, now it's a coffee cup. This one's empty. Still have 11.50 cal in there. And we probably haven't even gone into the structure over there. Okay, well. Important safety tip. Exploration is a bit different in survival, especially at level 13. What do we have here? So this is, we were just climbing up through there. boat and shack and they can stay there and they're off key ah iron maidens out to an early league but piece of junk's right behind iron maiden is still in the league this is one hell of a race
discovered East City Downs. It's another great day out here at the track. And a very loud day at the track. Wow. Coming up next, Lady Lovelace takes on the Iron Maiden in a head-to-head -head match. You don't want to miss this. Okay, there are folk over there. Back to the track. At this point, I think I will just be happy to get to the Nordhagen Beach back. position. Don't forget Boston Blaster. He's pulled and us out before. He's a survive. Really showing off those new mods. This race is really heating up. Okay. You all get your bets in. I sure did. There's a story here. We'll find it. Thanks for sharing, Piper. We've got a good, clean race today. Absolutely no funny business. All right, hairbrush. Thirteen five millimeter rounds. We got some fine bots in this race. Bob's your uncle is coming up fast. Yardstick. Old Rusty's as steady as ever. Let's give him a hand, huh? We got some okay. tough competition out here today. What a race! What a race! I think if I'm going to keep on in survival mode, our adventures are going to change a little bit because I'm going to need to back and forth quite a bit to adjust weaponry. Trying to figure out he's trying to boost the television or save his own. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to need to do a lot more junk runs. We're going to have to get um, get some mods, get some better weaponry out of the mods, and try and see if we can get ourselves uh, some more damage going. Nordhagen Beach discovered. Well, let's see what we have here at Nordhagen to There are some folk here. Uh, I know that suit. You're one of those people who lives underground. Okay, and settler. <clears throat> we could really use your help. Okay. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. I already cleared that place out. You serious? That's great news. Yeah, it By is. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Yeah, I should say so. I mean, I answered your request before it even was given. Hey, and we now have access to the workshop here at Nordhagen. All that being said... We are going to boost one of the settlers. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Oh, we can't boost a settler yet because we don't have the perk we need to set up supply lines. That's what we wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do anyway. I was going to steal her and have her start we a supply really line to Sanctuary Hills. You need something else? <clears throat> we could really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is that it'd be is a nice spot thing? for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Yeah, I guess it's just I the same conversation. That place out. You serious? That's great news. 
By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Okay, well, there was that. Let's see if there's anything we can use here. We'll take your mm. gas canister. What's that for? Uh, turrets, things like that. Piper. Okay, let's take stock here for a moment. I, I thought we were clearing out this settlement. Kind of took me by surprise. So we've got two we can turn into Preston. And we're not tracking down the Lost Patrol for a while. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? Let's take a look around the settlement here, see what we can scrap. What we could use to support our cause in the future in the sense of building better weapons toy truck a couple wooden blocks desk and some trees some rubber trees more rubber barrel Tires, barrel, barrel. It'd be nice if we could scrap that. That'd be a bunch of steel. Some more driftwood, stump, driftwood, pallet. Whoops. stick your screws out of this, unfortunately. What about a lobster trap? Four wood. More driftwood. More driftwood. More driftwood. Rubber. Cart. Barrel. Fridge door. Shopping cart. Rubber. Wood. Wood, rubber, rubber, driftwood, driftwood, a truck, ten steel for a truck, come on, ten wood, steel, rubber, ooh, four screws from the tractor, that's outstanding, some pallets, a lot more rubber, Driftwood. Lobster float plastic. There we go. Lobster float plastic. Okay, so. Barrel. 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 Any more of those lobster floats? Wait a minute. Lawn flamingo plastic. Plastic. Outstanding. The one west of Salem. He said they've got a tarberry box set up in an old swimming pool. Okay, let's just get rid of some of this wood hey, here. Them. Nice to see him getting to that barrel. after what happened in Diamond City. The tarberry bog in a barrel. Wish I had thought that. Barrel. 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 I know it's not terribly exciting, is it? But we need these resources if we are going to build ourselves some better weapons. Hmm. Okay. Anything else remotely plastic? Wooden spoon. Well, I think we should have enough plastic and screws right now to at least get a suppressor built. And we may have some items back in Sanctuary that we can use as well. So we will 
stop here with episode 35 and pick up again probably in Sanctuary. I will try and get some of the uh, maintenance and construction done to build our suppressed sniper rifle if I can. Uh, if you'd really rather watch me do that, leave a note in the comments, let me know. Um, kind of torn between whether or not to show absolutely everything or just try and be about more exciting things. Let me know what you think. Um, and remember also that if you have uh, an idea of whether or not you want to keep this going in survival mode or to revert back to whatever the mode was I was in before. Vote in the poll in the upper right hand corner when the little eye, you know, check out the little eye. If you click on it, it'll we have a little drop down menu and one of the things should be the poll as well as the uh, before and after episodes. So once again, this has been Checkers with another Fallout 4 video. This time, episode 35 of our Let's Play series. I'd like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. I've just mentioned all the cards, so I won't go through that again, but I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video informative and maybe just a little entertaining. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.